So where are we exactly? Well, welcome to Granby, Colorado. Yep. A life filled with travel can sometimes mislead us. We think that entering into this careless bliss will offer us endless opportunities to rest our bodies and live without a care in the world. However, you've probably experienced the fact that you've often returned from a vacation feeling more tired than when you left. An important piece of this ability to relax and rejuvenate is our environment. And it just so happened that Sun Outdoors Rocky Mountains in Granby, Colorado has created a place that offers both fun and true relaxation. You want the sun or you want the shade. Either way, they got you covered. Hey guys, welcome back to our Not So Perfect Life. I am Jason. And I'm Delyn. We are here in a tiny little mountain town itty bitty. in Colorado with a population of about 2,000 people. Why would anyone ever want to come here? Right, is there anything to do? And where would you even stay if you came to visit this little place in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Colorado. So let's go see why anyone would want to come and visit this place. So good. Oh my gosh, so good. Guys, did you know that if you want to experience RV life, you don't have to go out and jump right into it head first. There are places like this Sun Outdoors Resort where you can simply get here and stay in an Airstream. You can rent out an Airstream, get the full on experience of RVing without the hassle of diving head first into trying to drive it across the country. Check this out. Friends, welcome to Airstream Island. I don't know about you, but I know I have. I mean, have you <laughs> ever wondered what it would be like to be in an Airstream? Yeah, I mean, we all watch our KYD, Mark and Trish, <laughs> and think like, man, that is amazing. I wanna know what that feels like. Yeah, or I wish I could, but you know what, guys? I don't have the finances to just go out and buy a 2020 Globe Trotter Airstream. Right? You can literally, at a fraction of the cost of ownership. Right, come here in Granby and enjoy an RV Airstream experience. I mean, and just check this out, guys. Look at this. You've got your table. You've got your barbecue. You've got these views with the Colorado River right over there, okay? Permitted, you can go fishing in there. You can go explore the Colorado River. This is, this is your spot here. This is like a little slice of heaven and getting to experience RV living without going through all the headaches of it. I mean, it can't get any better than that. Spurs clicking every time I take a step. Oh yeah, you do. This is the OG RV with all of the modern amenities. Yes, you too can have a weekend filled full of Western culture, throwback original RV living, and yet not have to pay out the nose or, or suffer in heat because this thing has air conditioning. Now look it. You want to spend a weekend in a covered wagon, you can here. And you can have a hot shower, and you can play bocce ball, and you can go out to dinner, and, and, and. Just so you know, each campsite is equipped with its own picnic table, its own grill, and a fire pit. Also, if you want to enjoy 
like with your family, but you're not all gonna fit in one covered wagon, you could rent multiple covered wagons or just meet people that are here. And there's a giant community fire pit as well for everyone to enjoy some cowboy beans. And if y'all don't know what cowboy beans are, check with my wife, hashtag spill the beans, and she is gonna let you know all the details about how to make that amazing campside dinner. Like Little House on the Prairie in the real. And this is all at your fingertips, guys. I mean, this is really simple to get to and easy to reserve. When you come here to enjoy, you're not just enjoying the covered wagon in like a monetized concrete parking lot. You are in the Rocky Mountains exploring, adventuring, and really getting the feel of what it might have been like, plus the air conditioning, a hundred years ago. That's pretty dang cool. Okay, 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 I can hear it. I'm not ready to spend all that money and feel like I'm living 150 years ago. Check it out. Not not only are they air conditioned, but you got a playground right within your vicinity and a bathhouse with full showers, full bathrooms, and a laundry facility all within walking distance. I'm talking literally right next door. So don't feel like you're just living on a little house on the prairie. You are, but you also have everything that a modern day convenience would need. Check this out. That is how close you are. It's pretty good driving out on this little island in a pond that you can go paddle boarding on, kayaking on. They have little fire rings here. Um, it's just so beautiful. And again, you have these amazing views all around you while you're out here. You could be relaxing, reading a book, sleeping, taking a nap. It's just so beautiful. I mean, look at this. You have the RVs right there, the cabins right there, and just uh, this fun little pond to go out on a kayak or paddleboard on. What I also really like about this is that everything is pretty close by. I mean, right here, we're out on the pond and you've got a dog park right there. You've got all the sports courts with volleyball, pickleball, basketball, a playground, and then the pool and the event center is right there. So why don't we go check that out? Okay, so guys, we're just outside the community center right here. Right. And there's so much to do. You can hang out in the shade. There's all kinds of lounges and chairs and you can play cornhole in the lawn. They have several different fire pits that you could just hang out around and talk. This is the epitome of what a community center should be. Oh, for like. sure. And it's not like janky furniture that's like looking like it's gonna fall oh apart. It's super comfortable. Don't no, knock I'm on their mom and pops. Come <laughs> Look, on. I'm just saying, if you wanna sit in some comfort and some style and have the mountains as your backdrop, it's really nice to actually enjoy something that's gonna feel comfortable and feel like it's well put together. So yes, yeah, so solid. What's pretty cool about this particular RV resort is that you don't have to just use it for an RV. This whole Elk Ridge ballroom, you can either rent three separate rooms or the whole thing to have a wedding here, mm -hmm. like a family reunion. Yeah, we saw a wedding happening right out on the lawn where we were playing cornhole the other day. They had a wedding reception there. Yep. I mean, this place would be stellar for a wedding because you could rent the cabins or the Airstreams or you know whatever you wanted to and be right here. I, I mean, site. just imagine the size of party you could have renting a ballroom, getting cabins, people coming in RVs, and you could stay really, really inexpensively. It's a, it's a fantastic layout. And they even have a fitness center too. Yep. So, I mean, they have thought of everything here. Okay, so we're in the arts and craft room and this is open from select times during the day where you can come in and do some free activities. They have different theme each week and you actually could even sign up for more in-depth art pieces if you wanted to do those too. So I love this. 
I simply cannot leave this place without telling you. There are flowers of all colors every turn that you make around here and the trees and the pines and even the rocks. I mean, there's just, they really thought of everything here. I mean, I could spend hours taking you around and showing you all the unique flowers that they have planted here because some of them I've never even seen in my whole life. So anyways, I do have to show you one flower. It's this beauty right here. And I just think it is so unique. Look at these pods that come down. For any of you who know the name of this flower, I would love to know what it is. And then right over here, you have the pink ones. I just think it's so cool. I, I love it. I love nature. Flowers, flowers, and even more flowers. So while you're staying here, if you don't want to cook your own dinner but want to have a full service restaurant, it's available right here on campus. This restaurant has a full service bar as well as food for you to eat. Just know if you want to be catered to in that way with a dining experience, they also have a restaurant for you to enjoy as well. And in the event that you get tired of modern amenities, you can kick it old school style and do some bowling here on the old school string bowling and bounce next door to the arcade. So, hey man, even in modern day amenities, you can still have a little bit of throwback fun. Okay, so we're showing you all kinds of fun stuff at this RV resort. However, just listen. Guys, we are in the middle of this RV resort. Right. This is what it's like to stay here. It is so peaceful. I right. cannot describe it to you. I feel like it is something we could try our best to describe to you. This peaceful place. You're in an RV resort with right. all kinds of things to do around you, and yet somehow there is tranquility yeah. in the middle of it. So you can truly come here and just rejuvenate and actually feel like you're being recharged, like you are resting. Feel like what a vacation mm -hmm. should feel like. Yeah. This is it. So just, just shh, shh. that's good stuff. Yeah. All right guys, so here it is. This is your chance to win a free stay here at this Sun Outdoors Resort or any in the country. All you have to do is go to Sun Outdoors YouTube channel, hit the subscribe, make sure you're subscribed too, are not so perfect life. Oh yeah, definitely. And while you're at Sun Outdoors hitting the subscribe button, make sure you jump on a video and tell them that our Not So Perfect Life sent you. So, once you've subscribed to Sun Outdoors, subscribe to our Not So Perfect Life, just comment down below in this video with this hashtag and let us know what your favorite part about this video has been in the comments below. This little mountain town has surprised us quite like none other. Yeah, we were not expecting this. I will tell you this, guys. This little mountain town of Granby, Colorado may very well be one of the most exceptionally beautiful places we have ever been. A truly breathtaking place. With 360 degree views of beauty in every direction you look.